feeling tonight? How you feeling? Woo! Better now. Before I go any further, though, let me just give it up to this man, Bennett Brown. One time. His job, his job gets harder and harder every week. Bennett, Bennett, show him what you got in front of you there. Oh. That chicken scratch Frankenstein chart that I wrote. Oh, no. <laughs> Good man. Um, if you know me, you know that I worked on cruise ships for a while. The very last ship I was on, I worked with a band. We called ourselves Swamp Thing. It was the kind of band that, that we just played and we jammed and we had a good time together. And um, one night a week we would do this pub gig in the pub on the ship. And the band would play this game called Stump the Singers. They would pick a song without telling us. And they would pick a style without telling us. And they would just kick into it and we would have to jump in. Um, without giving too much away, this medley is uh, inspired by one of the jams we had. We, we started in, and I won't give away what it was, but we started into this and, and it got going and it felt good. And uh, one of our other singers on the ship, his name was Andy, jumped up on stage and started singing something else over what we were doing. It ended up lasting like 12, 13 minutes. It was one of those magical music moments that was, it was gone as fast as it came, but we'll never forget it. And I just, I always think of that because that's why we do what we do for moments like that. And so if Bennett will indulge me, we're going to get into this. There will be audience participation. <laughs> Masterful medley. Nice job. Secondly, um, I was really into you from the very first week. 
that I, you know, watched you compete. I would not have guessed, though, that you could have sustained your unique kind of singing that you do. And I also wouldn't have guessed that you would have been able to, like, come back week after week, keep surprising us, giving something new of you. You showed tremendous range in this competition, and I'm so glad I got to see it. The medley was beautifully composed. So musical, I mean, so musical. You wouldn't um, say that if you could see this chart. <laughs> you made it. You made it work, um, and uh, you and, and you knew you knew you knew what you needed to do, and you, you did. Um, and it was it was seamless. You have the quality that I really most value in performers, and that is fearlessness. And um, and along with that, the other quality I value most, which is the determination to have a good time. And you always bring so much fun and so much fearlessness, and it's it's really always such a joy. Yeah, that medley was on point, and I think that's why mostly I would want to see your show. Like, you're a musician, first and foremost, you love music, all of it, like, there's always joy in it. You always find something different, something interesting, and I love it. Your outfits have been fierce. I mean, I'm watching you every week. Who knows what it's going to be, but I'll always love it. Absolutely. Um, I've been a fan since the beginning, too, and I always am surprised, but yet not really, because you always deliver consistently. But yet, you, I mean, you do all these different things, but you always put your spin on it. And I, you know, there's like men and women, and then there's like you. Like you have your own <laughs> world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, you've got. <laughs> well, we just have you like you've got. Your, I mean, you just like you're on your own planet. Like with everything that you do, with your creativity, with the, your style, you know who the hell you are. And you deliver it every week. It's really been great to watch. I think you're really great. It's going on my headstone. Man. Give it up for Gabrielle, please. Put your hand